Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm here with a representative from the state. Tell us who you are. Hey buddy, Lynn Morris, State Representative Lynn Morris. This is my district, Eastern Christian County. Brian and I are out putting up signs today. We're gonna to put up signs tomorrow. Lots of more signs are gonna pop up. I'm the state representative the last six years, running for my last two year term. I really appreciate everyone to go out and, and vote on August the 7th for Morris. And I tell you what, I'm excited because, buddy, I was just telling you that, that yesterday the governor came to Springfield and signed eight bills, very important bills. It all had to do with health care and public safety. I was involved in several of those bills, but one of my most important bills that I've passed in six years is my pharmacy PBM bill that was signed yesterday that goes into effect August 28th that will save people hundreds and thousands of dollars on their prescriptions because you don't want to use your insurance card every time. Now the pharmacist has a gag order taken off and the pharmacist will tell you when to use your insurance card, when to not. They estimate 30 to 40 percent of the time you should not use your insurance card, you should pay cash. Pharmacists have not been able to say that and now we can. It's going to be very exciting. There's several bills we passed. I passed the foster children's bill, a great bill for foster children to get them back into school quickly on day one. Uh, we also passed a, a farmer's market senior care bill. This is going to help 300,000 seniors in this state where they get free fresh produce and fruits and vegetables starting next May through October at farmer's market. So it's going to help the small farmers. It's going to help the seniors. I'm extremely excited about it. Got to get back to putting up signs. Well, that, was, that, that last one was a good one. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, buddy. He and his wife are... Uh doing real estate right i'm not sure i've seen i think i've seen him do a little networking through there he might be writing off his bicycle that way yeah now what's your name i'm scott hey scott you're on nice you're on my you. youtube channel right now uh, will. hey will whose bike is this Mine. that's yours and that's his what is that called i i know that's an s works that's a really what is this yeah, this one's an LA. An LA. Uh, it's my workout bike. It's, it's got about 20 pounds on it compared to his. Uh huh. So, you know, by the time I upgrade to a bike his style, I'll be able to smoke him. Yeah, it's all about the weight. All about the weight. <laughs> yeah. I call hey. it my trainer. Yeah. If I just lost 10 pounds, it'd be a lot easier for me. Than yeah, it kind of helps bikes. everything. That's what happened to Lance Armstrong. He lost a lot of weight after that cancer deal. Canc cancer deal. But he had the mass, the muscle. So the muscle memory came back. And he, he, he admitted he was 20 pounds lighter. Yeah, it was, right? But he so also... you're telling me I need to get... Uh, <laughs> get a little cancer. cancer. <laughs> no. Seems an excessive way to... I, I wouldn't wish that on nobody because that's a hell of a way to lose weight. All you gotta do is ditch one, man. <laughs> I was 235. I got hurt in 2005. I gained up to 235. I was almost paralyzed. L4, S5. And I had to... Uh, start putting my body back together so in 2008 I started riding the bicycle hanging out in the sun you know just laying out and it started like in March in Mississippi but I haven't I, I haven't stopped since 2008 now I haven't had every year hadn't been great but uh, it's not easy to get down to 155 <laughs> Yeah, it's not. it's not easy to get down to 200. Yeah, <laughs> so, well, it's, yeah. yeah. It's, I, I, I mean, it's a challenge. I, I like doing it, but um, yeah. got to be an easier way to exercise. It's <laughs> great. Love it. I, I in the in the winter, I seem to do the spinning class inside, and I swim way a lot more. Yeah. Well, cool to meet y'all. Yeah, yeah you absolutely. Too. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Thank you, man. Ride well. The sign says, in God we trust, right on our money. Well, what could I say about that? Well, that's true. It is written on paper that they call our money. But um, as far as I know, it ain't backed up by gold or silver or nothing. It's a fiat, fiat money system. It's a debt system. Yeah, brought to us by the Rothschild World World Bank. <laughs> All right, let's see what the other side says. The church band of the free 
home of the saved. Well, I don't know what to say about that because uh, I don't really understand what it means that the, the band in the church is free. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's free to go to church. But, uh, yeah, that money deal, when um, you look at the back of a dollar bill and you see this pyramid with the all C and I, it kind of freaks me out a little bit when I, I think about what God are they talking about? I know this guy right here is, is Christian, you know, Jesus all the way, you know, that kind of thing. But I um, wonder, has he ever really stopped to see where money comes from? And to really see how that thing went down with, uh, yeah, the way they took us off the gold standard and the silver. I remember when I was real young and uh, they were still silver in the coins. By 1964, they started taking the silver out. Now, hell, there ain't no such thing as a penny. If you try to break into a penny, you'll see it ain't made out of copper. It's made out of some kind of cheap ass tin. That's a cool car right there. Check it out. Okay. So, I got. I got uh, no idea exactly what that means, but I don't even know, <laughs> don't even know really what to say about it.